Game on everybody, I'm Ryan and welcome to a new let's play of That's right guys, we're finally doing it We're doing a let's play of Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex Now let me give you guys a history lesson For those of you that don't know This was the first game I ever played in my life And guess what? I hate it I absolutely hate it but let me just say this guys I, I did a let's play of crash one and you saw that and honestly that's probably one of the few let's plays i really but um nowadays um i i played crash two and three afterwards and those ones were okay i thought those ones were okay but the new crash four crash four it's about time i gotta say that one that was the Crash Bandicoot game that made me like Crash Bandicoot. So, um, so since I know, so yes, because of Crash 4, It's About Time by Toys for I now like Crash Bandicoot, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to skip over this, this game. Um, I still got to do a let's play of it and I want to get, I want to do this one. I want to do this one before I do Crash 2 and 3, just so that way I can have closure and move on. Man, these models are hideous looking. This intro actually goes on for a really long time. I need to point that out. I completely forgot that uh, Clancy Brown was actually the voice for both Uka Uka and uh, Neo Cortex in uh, this era of Crash games. Lex Lane does the voice nowadays for Cortex. Man, those eyebrows. Despite the fact that this model is pretty ugly. Um, those eyebrows and teeth look amazing. Alright, now I'm Crash. Whoa! 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 Also, my controller vibrates like crazy. I gotta turn that off. So that way you guys don't have to hear that. Coco. All right, so, all right, so now let's get on to the game. Now I'm now I just gotta point out that this game, you guys know, you guys already know, but this game is bad. And uh, I just want to get on to the game, so let's go and do the first level, Arctic Antics, which is actually a pretty fun level. Well, if if not a little bit easy and kind of dull. That's Biff from Back to the Future. I didn't. I never actually watched Back to the Future, but I probably should one day. All right. So now we're Crash. Whoa! So yeah, you guys remember this was the uh, this was the first game I ever played um, as a kid, and well, you guys know I I hated it, you know, and I assumed that all Crash games were bad just because this one was bad. But that was the old Ryan. The new Ryan is go is going to be able to. It just wants to play this one from beginning to end, just so that way he can have closure and move on and never have to play it again. I mean, after all, um, when you do, when you, when you have, when you pretty much pick the career of being a Let's Play channel, there's gonna be that point where you inevitably have to play a game that you hate. So let's just get. So I just want to get this one done and over with right now. All right, let's just break all the boxes, and I should probably get uh, some of the Wumpa fruits because. Uh, even though, even though I said that this game can be a little bit easy, there's a few difficulty spikes that I've actually came across. I actually practiced uh, before I decided to uh, play this for real, so that way I knew, so that way I knew, so that way I would remember just how bad this game was. Bomp, 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 bomp. Okay, let me continue. The, let me go on about the rant about how I think uh, 
how I think about how I think most Crash Bandicoot designs are pretty ugly. Okay, so personal personal opinion, guys. I think that every Crash Bandicoot design before Crash 4, It's About Time by Toys for Bobs, I thought every design before that game was pretty ugly. I don't. I'm not really a fan of this model. I think it looks very ugly. The Twin Sanity model. It looks like um. It looks like a Sheen Estevez sort of character. And in the and in the PS1 games, um, he looks a little kind of. But in uh, Crash 4, it's about time. I really like that design. Because it, it actually decided to not give Crash like those thick eyebrows that I just think it just looks so ugly on him. And give him like a, a stupid grin. I mean he still does have a super he does have a grin, a gr big grin like he did like he did before in uh, Crash 4. But he but it's not it's not like a very stupid looking grin where he's like duh Ah shit I fell. I was just thinking over the. I was too busy thinking about what I said because uh, sometimes I, sometimes I say certain things, and I clearly don't mean what I'm trying to say. Sometimes I I say things in a certain way that it's just like, did I say that right or did I just like have a, like a sudden brain fart and say it the wrong way? That's probably how it feels like I. That's pretty much how I feel like whenever I, whenever I um, am trying to make a conversation while I'm. Recording a let's recording a let's play. I always feel like I'm I'm say, I'm gonna say the wrong stuff I always feel like I'm gonna say the wrong stuff and people will take it the wrong way. I Mean there's gonna be those people and you can't really please them But yeah, just so you know guys even though I hate this game, and you saw my you saw the let's play of the first Crash Bandicoot game, and you saw me like have a shit fit in that one, just remember, guys, I'm a wiser man now. I'm more mature. I've become a lot more mature as a person. I've become a much more mature person than I have like uh, back when I first did the first let's play of the first Crash game. I mean, most of the stuff that's that came out like around like the first year of uh, the Bit Warrior channel. Um, most of that stuff, I was a different person back then. I don't know if I don't know if Brock has changed, but I don't think he's changed at all, really. But when I look back at, at the older videos that that we did on the channel, I just look at look at the older videos and I'm like, man, I have changed. Probably for the better, or maybe for the worse. I don't know. I mean, right now, if I if I had a webcam on, I would do I would kind of do what what old me would want to do and like do like the whole like Jim Carrey butt puppet thing, you know, like from Ace Ventura. Excuse me, I would like to ask you a question. I said question for a second there. I my mouth is just going. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so now we got to do this part. I wasn't a big fan of this as a kid. Basically, I got to shoot like a whole bunch of tornado like uh, generators. And once I shoot those, I can just like get the hell out of here. I'm not going to strive to get every gem in the game, but I'm just going to strive to, you know, at least beat it. Just, as I said, just to have closure and move on. Because then after that, I can put my past behind me. I mean, I guess the only thing that I do have left that's connected to my childhood is uh, LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Batman, and uh, the Genesis Sonic games. But this one is like a, this one's like a bad memory that I'm putting to rest. All right, explode. Dorothy does not need to go to Oz right now.
All right, give me that crystal. Yay! All right, now it's bamboozled. You know, if this was the PS2 version, guys, um, there would be, like, a shit ton of loading to the point where we would basically be here all day. The loading is a lot faster here, but, you know, it's still just, it's still kind of slow-ish. By the way, guys, I should also, I never, I didn't point this out, but I probably should now. I'm playing the GameCube version. Now, I know that I should have gone for the Xbox version because that's the superior version, but I had to pick the GameCube version because that's the that's the version that I own that I own. Originally, I was going to like completely bash this game, like rip this game a new asshole and just play the ba bad one just to purposely piss people off, but you know what? Not not that's not me anymore, guys. Obviously, I'm still gonna shit on it, obviously, but this time, I'm shitting because I like Crash Bandicoot now. Just remember that, guys. I played Crash 4, and I like Crash 4. Not this Crash 4, the actual Crash 4. The Toys for Bob Crash 4. So, I played that, and I like Crash Bandicoot now, guys, so you don't need to worry about me, like, be me like trashing like twin sanity or crash 2 or crash 3 or anything like that you know like a, like a, some sort of reincarnation of ego raptor I'm just breaking all the boxes. So guys, I should probably point this out, but uh, out of every Crash game that I've actually played, the only one that I actually managed to actually 100% was uh, Crash Warped. And I should have pointed this out, but uh, this, you know how I said that this is like the Sonic Forces of uh, Crash Bandicoot games? That point could also be that could also mean that uh Crash Warped is like the Sonic is like the Sonic generations of Crash games. You know what I mean? What uh 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 u
Hey, I hit you! I've forgotten how big uh, Crash's hitbox was in this game. His hitbox is actually, actually feels really big in this game. Ah, oh, come on! I hit, I hit the button. You can't play, you can't play too recklessly. I forgot that Crash is all about trial and error. You can't play recklessly with Crash. Ah, oh, come on! I jumped over that. I'm not doing this on purpose, guys. I promise you. I swear, I'm not doing this on purpose. Okay, there we go. Does the candle kill me? There we go. Got the checkpoint. And this is the reason why it gave me PTSD as a kid. The chase sequence. Alright, so here we go. Give me the Aku Aku. Give me the Ooga Booga. I actually can't even hear Aku Aku say Ooga Booga in this. Alright. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I'm running. 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 Running, running. Ah, come on. I should have slid. I should have slid. Alright, alright. I got this. I got this. I can do this. Whoop! I jumped over that. I clearly jumped over that. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, no. No, 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 no. Whoop! At least I got multiple lives. That's a good thing. Did I say that this was the this was the so Sonic Forces of Crash Bandicoot? I meant to say the Shadow of the Hedgehog. Because uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog is boring. But, and even then, compared to like compare, comparing Shadow of the Hedgehog to Sonic Forces, you're actually making effort in Shadow of the Hedgehog. You have to make more effort in this game than you do in Sonic Forces. Okay, there we go. There we go, and boom. I didn't get all the boxes, but that's okay. Brock actually texted him, actually text, I actually uh, talked to Brock that I was gonna record this game for you guys. And he was, and he was like, yeah, you do it without me. I don't want to do this one. And I can't blame him. I don't blame him. Brock, Brock is actually a Crash Bandicoot fan. Me, on the other hand, I'm more or less like, not so much. But Crash 4 did make me like Crash Bandicoot. Crash 4 opened my eyes, like I said. Um, now Bro Brock is a Crash is a Crash Bandicoot fan, all right? And he's actually played he's actually he's played this game too, and he's like, yeah, this isn't so good. And now we got to do a what is this a minecart section? Okay. I actually found out that one of the bonus levels in this game is actually a is actually a kart racing part of the game as well. And you can actually beat that by like not doing anything. 
I guess this is like Sonic Forces. There you go. 16 lives. Look at that. Scratch that. I got 17 lives. I didn't even point this out, but uh, the music in this game is pretty good. I'll say that. I'll admit that. that the music is pretty good. However, the running animation is something I don't like. Because his body is shaking all over the place. And it's may maybe just a psychological thing for me. But, uh... Whenever I see a crush's entire body shake when he runs, I, I'm clearly pressing. I'm clearly just pressing forward on the analog stick. But it feels like I'm zigzagging. When I look at when I look at Crash's running animation, it feels like I'm zigzagging. It's not me, right? You guys see it too, right? It feels like I'm zigzagging when I when I watch his animation. I mean, you can't really see it. You'd have to actually hold the controller. In order to know what I'm talking about, but for but when I'm holding the controller, I'm clearly holding like right, but I feel like I'm zigzagging. Oh, oh yes! Boom! There we go. Oh. Oh, 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 and boom. Bonk, 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 bonk. All right, that concludes that level. I will say that level was kind of decent. That level was decent. It wasn't. It wasn't good, but it wasn't terrible either. Now we got to do uh, the boss fight, and this stinks. Sure, Crunch. Sure, Crunch. Wrap your fingers around my neck, which I don't even have. Oh, yes. This level. This level is fun! And I say with a huge hint of sarcasm... Boom! You know, I didn't even bring up Crash. What? Wh who exactly Crunch is? But uh, Crunch is basically. You know how Crash Bandicoot is a failed experiment of Dr. Neo Cortex. Well. Let me just say this, Crunch is basically what Crash was supposed to be. He was the bandicoot that Crash was supposed to be for Cortex's army. It's kind of a shame that they didn't bring this full circle. By actually having him lead Cortex's army. Though I do know one thing's for sure in the, um, in the uh, Crash of the Titans uh, series. They uh they made Crash sound they made Crunch sound like Mr. T. I pity the fool. Come 
Come on. Come on. Come on, give me that rock. Damn! Sorry, I just had a tendency to yell once I hit the impact. And the sneak shoes. In case anybody's wondering, uh, this tool can only be... It, this tool is only properly useful for uh, two parts in the game. I'm not joking. You, you only use it two times in the game. One in a bonus level, that's at, that one in the next bonus level, and the other is somewhere like near the final part of the game. 